Hey guys, Brad here from Wild Guide Magazine. We're at the Calgary Boat and Sportsman Show this weekend. Right now we're hanging out with Barry down at the uh, fishing hole booth. He's here all weekend doing some fly tying demonstrations. So what we're gonna do right now is actually have him walk us through uh, the flies that he's tying this morning and give us a quick demonstration on how he does that because we find it really interesting we think you will too. So we'll turn it over to Barry here and see what he's got for us. Well, a good day. 45 years guiding on the Bow River and the best fly I've ever used is the woolly bugger. So anyway, I pre weight the hook. This has 30 wraps of 025 lead and a cone head that's on a number six hook. So we'll attach it into the vise and we'll get started. With this uh, hook, I use red thread and it's very simple. We just jam it on and then wrap the hook, getting a layer of thread over top of the lead and particularly anchoring it at the back. Bring the thread forward, clip off the excess, and then we'll attach marabou for a tail. You can use one feather or two feathers for the tail, so we'll just use one today. And with a little bit of spit action, with wet fingers, I can control the, the fluffiness of the marabou and I can measure it. So pinch it where I want to cut it, then I'll just make a clip with the scissors, and then with a finger thumb wrap, putting the th thread through the finger and the thumb, bring it around the vise, and then pull the thread up. Do that a couple times, and that'll anchor the thread and the marabou on top of the hook. Wind back to the bend of the hook to set the tail, and bring the thread forward. At this point, we want to add the body material, and we'll take a length of crystal chenille, wrap it on, bring it all the way back to the bend of the hook, Anchoring it with the thread, a couple wraps of chenille at the back, lock it in place with the thread and bring the thread forward to the front. And we're going to use a barred Plymouth rock or grizzly hackle and I'm going to attach it by the tip, splay the barbules away from the tip so that you get a straight V on the tip. Put the thread through the anchor and then as I pull the th feather back, I get a nice level layer of feather and thread on the hook. Bring it all the way to the back, put a little whip finish here, just a couple wraps to keep it from unraveling. Lock it on the bodkin carrier. Okay, now we're going to put a layer of glue on the, on the body of the hook just to secure it. I use uh, um, aqua seal uh, a flat cement and uh, it absorbs into the material. Now with the rotary vise I can just spin the vise and that'll walk the chenille forward covering up the trash and making a level body. A couple wraps of thread over the chenille and just slide the scissors up to the body and trim off the excess. A little whip just to make sure I got it in place. And then by holding the hackle up at an angle and spinning the vise, I can walk the hackle forward like a stripe on a candy pole or candy cane and bring it up to the front. Thread wrap it in place, lock it a couple, back and forth, trim off the excess. Again, by not pointing the scissors, but just bringing the scissors in behind the hackle and cutting wrap on the spot that gets a nice secure and I can whip finish whip finish with your fingers or if you don't know how to do that you can get a Mattarelli whip finisher and just use the tool to whip finish the, the head three or four twists done pull off the excess and trim the hackle trim the thread it's on this pattern is called the Marilyn Monroe and basically it's tanned and blonde and gold and it's a very effective Bow River pattern. It'll also work on other fish in other places. Pretty slick with those fingers there. It's, that's coordination you have to build up over time I think but uh, yeah. great demonstration. Thanks. You're welcome.